One of our ethoses with building in general is how do we build more with less? We often work with James Hardy cutting products. So it's something that we're used to exploring and we're really interested in them as quite an economical and accessible material. James Hardy's products are an integral part of the architectural design space. Hardy's fine texture cladding comes pre-primed, which means it only requires painting, there's no rendering. So it's a really cost-effective, fast form of construction. One of the real benefits is the suite of accessories that come with it. So there's internal corner pieces and external corner pieces, which we've been able to utilise throughout the zigzag profile of the concept that we came up with. I think the texture is really subtle and gives a really beautiful quality. It's really great to be able to utilise the standard building manuals and systems to achieve the fire ratings that are required. The product adheres to bushfire attack level requirements to bow 40 and has a fire rating of up to 60 minutes when used with Hardy smart wall systems. James Hardy collaborated to produce these edge details and mouldings um, and together with it being a chip lapped product mean that the overall construction time on site can be reduced and can be put together easily and therefore reduce its overall construction cost. The ship lap detail allows for the product to be self-sufficient without requiring ancillary items such as cover strips to keep the water out. It's interesting to think about a design based around a cladding product and explore how many ways in which that material can be used. The whole project can be delivered by using this one material. My name's Jemima Retallick. And I'm Mitchell Thompson, and we're directors at Retallick Thompson Architects. We were approached to see how the hardy fine texture cladding could be incorporated into a residential project in the inner city. The idea was to create a courtyard space which would unite the new part of the building to the old house. And so it resulted in a sort of internal courtyard which the main living areas of the house orientate themselves around. And because it was a corner site, our first step was to create a new wall out of the hardy fine texture cladding. We were then able to explore the ideas of blurring the inside to the enclosed rooms of the house. The hardy fine texture cladding was used throughout the project by exploiting all the different sizes that it comes in. Uh, we really uh, wanted to see what geometries we could get from just using the raw sizes that it came in. And so that would allow for anyone building the project to really use it in an economical way. My name's Nathaniel Preston. I'm a director of Preston Lane Architects. I worked on this project with my business partner, Daniel Lane. I led the design team out of our Melbourne studio, uh, working with James Hardy. The main idea about this project was the extension and the interaction with the laneway. There was a number of strategies that we employed in the design. One of those was raising the level of the extension slightly so that you're elevated, looking over the lane so you feel a lot more private. We've got a landscape courtyard and then also a, a really narrow but important landscape zone between the private areas of the house and then looking down onto the laneway. Our approach in this project was to look at cutting a standard 1200 wide sheet in half, creating 600 wide sheets, and then organising them in a concertinaed form to create some real interest and, uh, and a really dynamic facade. My name is Lynn Wang. I'm Michael Leinberg. We're directors of Leinberg Wang Architects, a small architecture firm based in Brisbane. The project is typically very Queensland, so it's an extension off the back of an existing Queenslander cottage. It's this mediation between the cottage, which is quite insular, and the outdoor amenity, which is expansive. So then it's the bridge between those two. Well, when thinking about how we put together a building, one of the most important aspects is how do we avoid the ingress of water. So in this design we expanded the typical drip edge detail to create these lapping effects between the sheeting. This pleated facade then allows proper shedding of water away from the building. I think the James Hardy product provides solutions to a lot of the problems that our clients face. They are economically attainable 
They save builders time on site and they can be used in a variety of situations, whether it's on the boundary or as a high quality finish. I guess through this process, we've developed a closer relationship with James Hardy rather than just being a specifier of their products. The work they are doing to try and push their cladding products is really interesting. And I think it's reflective of a company that's looking forward. The hopes for this project is how it can be a backdrop to really what's important in life about getting together as a family or socialising with friends and how that can be enjoyed both inside the house and outside the house and feel like it's all just one collective space.